As a digital marketer or web designer, sometimes you may have challenges of backing up your website and restoring it. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to back up your website with a plugin and be able to restore it back when you need it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to log into your back end, log into the back end of your website. Then you go to plugin, of course, you already know how to install a plugin. Just go to plugin and go to add new, right? The plugin we're going to be using is called Updraft Plus. It's a very powerful plugin that I just discovered. It's very powerful and uh, it can help you solve this problem. And the beautiful part is that it's free, right? You can do it absolutely free. Most of the ones I've been checking before now, um, they have this uh, function. Most of them, after backing up, you want to restore, you will see error, corrupt files, all that. But when I tried, Updraft Plus, it was powerful. Everything went very smoothly. So let me just show you. So you go to plugin, of course, then add new. Then you search for the plugin. So um, plus. So let's search for the plugin um, inside WordPress plugin database. So this is it. Updraft Plus WordPress Backup Plugin, very, very powerful plugin, right? And it's free. It's the best of them all. So you simply install it because you can see that you have over 3 million people active installation. Um, last updated six days ago, and it's compatible with the current version of WordPress. Um, so after installing, you activate, activate the plugin. Okay, the plugin is activated. So after activation, you will see this message um, welcoming you to Updraft Plus, the world's most trusted backup plugin. So uh, press here to start. So you click here. All right, so um, come down here. So you're going to see this message, your first backup. Uh, to make a simple backup to your server, press this button or to set up regular backups and remote storage, go to settings. Now, the plugin allows you to backup your, um, your website either on your own server or you back up on a remote um, storage like, um, like um, Dropbox or Google Drive or even email so but you're going to set it up so here you see settings so we're going to set up where the remote place where we want this backup to go to so you can see various options here this is updraft law this is a microsoft OneDrive, dropbox amazon s3 azure several of them so i'm going to use google drive for this um, practical so i'll go to google drive and of course it will prompt me to, you know, set up um, an account as I need to log into a particular email. So it's asking me to sign in with Google, right? Okay, so I will sign in. Leave. So it's going to prompt me to choose an account, right? I have various accounts here, so I'm just going to choose um one of them okay so let's say i choose this this one so this will allow uh, updraft plus to see and download this is just a prompt showing you that this plugin is going to have access to your google drive of course if it doesn't have access it cannot back up your files all right so you need to grant the access so i'm going to go ahead and grant allow it grant access to the plugin so that it can access my so you see to complete setup right but this will take you back to Overall plus okay so i'll just say complete setup okay so it's back here and um so i'll set up a remote backup so uh, if i back up now i'm going to find it inside that particular Google Drive, okay? 
So now that I've set that up, I will now go ahead and um, click my backup. All right. So click backup. So take a new backup, include database, include your files and backup. Um, only allow this backup to be deleted manually. That is keep it even if retention limits are. Okay. So let's just click on backup. So it's requesting startup. So it's going to back up the file. So you can see the progress. Uh, you can see the progress bar. So it's backing up. Once this is completed, it's going to show us the next step. So let's just back it up. Okay, the backup is completed. So you can see uh, my backup. This is um, July 25th. You can see the backup. And um, this is it. Just one backup here. So to restore this backup, it's very simple. Just click on the restore button and follow the prompt. It's very simple. You can restore it immediately. So what this does for you is that now you can now, you know, be sure that whatever happens to your website, in case there's a problem with the website, you can always restore. And the good part is that you have this on your remote storage, all right? So I have this on my Google Drive, the same backup I have here is in my Google Drive. So I can restore from there if anything happens to this website. And the restore is very simple, right? Meaning that you can also move this to a new domain. Let's say um, this particular website, I want to move it to a new domain. So what I simply need to do is I buy the domain, right? I add it to a hosting. And after adding it to a hosting, I install the WordPress on it. Then on that new domain, after installing the WordPress, I now install the plugin, this Updraft Plus plugin, okay, which will now give me the option to upload. So instead of restoring a backup, since I don't have the backup on that particular website, I'm going to use the upload option. So I would have downloaded the backup from my Google Drive on my system. So once I click on upload, it just to pick up the file and restore. So it's very simple and very straightforward. So I wanted to try it out, Updraft Plus very easy and of course free what i find amazing is that this is free you don't need to pay a dime to you know do this backup and restore of course there are other premium features which you can only access when you pay but i'm talking about free now all right so go ahead and try it out of draft plus plugin for your wordpress backup all right so i will see you again in another exciting video